What's Gucci everybody? It's AJ here again and today I want to talk about deleting in hashing. This will be a, about the open addressing method that I addressed in the last tutorial series part 2 of hashing and this will be part 3 of hashing. Now, in the last tutorial I showed you how we could add video, we could add addresses and get them using the increment and modulus wraparound methods. But one thing I also want to address is that in a hash table you can also add elements, you can also get elements, but you can also delete elements. And deletion can prove to be a problem in hashing. So my example here is, let's say I have a table and I store an item at this table. Let's say I just store, I store it at position zero and I have another table. And let's say I store another item which ends up having an identical hash code. It's not an identical item, it just happens that the hash code calculation still produces the number zero or the same index. And then I store this item here. I'm call it item two and item one. Now let's say I delete item one. I just delete it. I say, okay, delete item one and it calculates that it calculates that index and deletes the address at index zero. And now let's say I want to find item two and I know I haven't deleted item two. Well, the way my algorithm is set up right now, I'll perform the calculation, see the index, go to the index zero, and see that at position zero, I delete I deleted my item and there was a null value there. And my algorithm will terminate and say, oh, hey, the item you're looking for is in fact not there. It will not start incrementing because it will see a null value. It will only increment if it sees a value there and, and then it will, if it, a value is there, it will start to think, oh, hey, maybe I incremented and stored the value at a different place and will continue to look for that. But since it says, sees null, it returns and says, oh, hey, you're wrong, there's no value here. So I had to drink water and what we can do to fix this is instead, when we delete an item, instead of making it null or deleting it permanently, we can do what we can do is do something very smart and we can store a dummy value. We can store a value that means nothing and tells tells the when I try to find something, tells the finder that hey, if you come across this dummy value, which you can make, maybe make a certain item easily equal with nothing in it but so your method can tell or your finder can tell that it's a dummy value and say hey there's nothing in this value but I want you to keep on searching or incrementing and wrapping around to see if you can find another item of the same that you find the same item that you're looking for and so this way when I do my find and when I do my calculation I see that there's a dumb, dummy value but instead of stopping and saying oh it's not there I continue my search and increment and find item 2 and that is why deletion is I mean setting a dummy value in deletion can be very important because it can erase certain problems but all this not perfect in hash land, as I like to say, because there are certain problems that arise from deletion. First of all, once I insert a dummy value, I can't replace it. I don't know how to replace it. I can't, I, I can't do anything with that. So if I do a lot of deletions and have a lot of dummy values, that can quickly fill up my array because... I have no way of getting rid of them. And let's say I'll have a, I'll call it bold dummy value DV and DV. I could quickly, if I deleted and added all these elements, if I added and then delete all these elements, I'd quickly have, have all these dummy values with no way of getting rid of them. And in fact, deleted items with their dummy values um, waste storage space and reduce search efficiency and this could actually deteriorate my finding and adding algorithm to instead of o of one o of constant time to o of n to o of the size of the array which could which could be bad we don't want a hash table deteriorating to that much so a way to fix that is that for instance if i could then if my hash table gets too close or the size gets too big to the actual length of the array or the your storage facility 
what you could do is you could allocate a new hash table with twice the capacity of the original, reinsert each old hash table entry that has not been deleted into the new hash table, and reference the new hash table instead of the original. So you can create a new hash table and put all the elements of that, but increase the size so you can't, you're okay with those dummy values. So, yeah. Oh, well, you wouldn't put the new dummy values in the new hash table. My bad. You would only insert each old hash table entry that has not been deleted. So, no dummy values. But, yeah, guys, I hope you understand that deletion can also cause problems in hashing, and that while hash tables are great, there are a lot of things you have to think about, such as how to make them a constant time as much as possible, because that's the beauty of a hash table. Well, I hope you guys have a great day, and enjoy.